Hey, what's up you guys? Bloody Jacob here to bring you my weekly review. Hey, what's up you guys? Bloody Jacob here, meeting my icon, Catherine Isabel here. Hey, what's up you guys? Bloody Jacob here to bring you my review of this week's episode of Ash vs. Evil Dead on Stars, which was episode 7 of season 3 called Twist and Shout. So, uh, yeah, um, you know, I had a busy weekend, but, uh, yeah, I just did a video on the convention side one too, you know, fantastic experience overall by the way, so check out the video on that if you're interested. Um, went to C2E2 as well as spend a day at uh, Heroes and Villains Fan Fest too. Um, but as soon as I got home, uh, you know, late Sunday night, I had to catch the episode of uh, Ash vs. Evil Dead. Um, it's one of my very favorite shows going. Um, and uh, again, just please support the hell out of this show. Um, it's really in question whether Stars is going to renew it for a fourth season or not. Um, but please watch the show. Watch it legally. Don't tor torrent it or any of that shit. <laughs> um, subscribe to Stars for less than $10 a month until the season's over. Um, download the app for free. Get a free trial. Um, watch the show that way. Watch it on demand if you have uh, Comcast or whatever. Um, just watch it in some way. Uh, if you're really a fan of the show, watch it and then, you know, tweet about how awesome it was or something, you know, even that'll help a little bit. Um, but yeah, this week's episode, Twist and Shout, I don't know if I liked quite as much as, uh, you know, what happened last week, you know, with, uh, such a heavy moment w with, uh, Kelly at the hands of Ruby, um, which I'm still, you know, questioning even more after this episode. Um... Still, I think season three might be the best so far. Uh, but this episode, nonetheless, even though I didn't like it as much as last week's, maybe, um, it still had me on the edge of my seat, man. Um, because, yeah, I am I am nervous about the show getting another season. I really hope it does. I think it would deserve it. Um, but I've also read recently that they have crafted some sort of uh, conclusion or there's uh, something, some finality to what does happen in this season. Um, so it has me uh, really, really nervous, you know, because, uh, you know, Ash, he's become like a great horror icon and, you know, hero to me. Um, you know, so I'm kind of worried they're going to go him, go, go to the route of him, like, sacrificing himself somehow, um, which I'm kind of wondering about, <laughs> um, you know, because Bruce Campbell said if Ash versus Evil Dead doesn't get renewed, it, you know, he's probably done with the character. Um... But, you know, you know, we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. Um, but this episode I enjoyed quite a bit. You know, we had the uh, new evil Ash, you know, growing um, from the baby that, uh, of course, this uh, this Ruby has been, you know, raising. Um, it was kind of funny at the beginning to see, you know, just a uh, naked Bruce Campbell, you know, standing there. Um, and then he sort of had, like, these baby, almost like childlike tendencies at first. <laughs> Um, you know, especially when uh, Ruby was, you know, sawing his hand off to make him look exactly like, uh, you know, our Ash. Um, so that was pretty funny. Um, and then meanwhile you have, uh, you know, Brandy going to the, you know, dance at her school and everything like that. Um, you know, the Brandy stuff is like the, it's the only element I kind of had issues with in this episode just because I think they're kind of, you know, kind of playing it out a little bit with her, you know, her going back and forth and, uh, trusting her father or not. Her going back and forth on it, or, or her still thinking, uh, Miss Prevett, you know, she's a good person. She can't be the steam in or whatever. It's been it, it's been getting a little bit frustrating, um, to be honest. 
but uh, this episode really just uh, <laughs> really just uh, settled that down and just uh, took care of that matter. Um, so it's not really bothering me anymore. Um, but in this, they basically try to frame Ash and you know get you know cause some kind of scenario where Brandy actually kills him herself. Um, you know, and sort of us you know switch you know what the prophesied one's fate's supposed to be and stuff like that, or you know switch who it is supposed to be. Um, so you have like this uh, you know fake evil Ash, you know the spawn. Um, basically going into, you know, ashy slashy mode, <laughs> you know, right? I'm just creeping out a lot of the kids at the dance and then before just brutally murdering all of them with, a ch you know, the chainsaw. Um, you know, that's pretty good as well. And you have good Ash, you know, fumbling to try and get him through the back. And then, of course, you have Kelly possessed by, uh, you know, Ruby's, uh, demonic friend that she is, uh, you know, brought into Kelly, you know, with Kelly being the vessel. Uh, I forget the demon's name, by the way, but um, yeah, yeah, it's still it's still hard, you know, when it comes to Kelly for me, um, because yeah, she's dead right now. But I mean, Pablo, he, you know, he was uh, caught in half in season two, so I I'm hoping there's a way back for Kelly um, if there was for Pablo from that. And I think there is. You know, I expressed some optimism last week. It was still a really heavy episode. Um, we've been hearing about the you know dead man's land. Um, and we see uh, Kelly, she talks to Pablo pretty quickly into this episode, you know, saying, you know, she's trapped somewhere and, you know, Ruby killed her. She was, you know, stupid, but she, you know, she tried to do something. Um, and a uh, pretty good performance from Ray Santiago, actually, you know, who plays Pablo. And when he realizes Kelly's dead, you know, it's actually some, you know, you know pretty good, serious, serious acting there. Um, you could feel uh, just how hurt, you know, and kind of gutted Pablo was about it. Um, just after they had really uh, solidified their connection. Um, but I do think there's definitely a way back for Kelly here, which I'm, you know, thrilled about. Because um, they're going to have to, they're going to be having to go into that realm, you know, pretty soon here. Uh, now with Brandy basically being killed, you know, they basically have to go in to save her. And uh, it looks like they're going to try and uh, free Kelly as well, which I think will be great. Um, you know, so please, please just bring Kelly back and keep her alive, I beg you. Because <laughs> um, like I've been saying all season, I, I love her almost as much as Ash at this point. Um, and so I think uh, you know, she she did go down and, you know, fighting in a way she wanted to. Um, but, you know, I think she deserves to live. So, you know, you know, we'll see how it goes. I really like the look of the, you know, Dead Man's Land, the realm. Um, the, you know, green, kind of the dark lighting, you know, it's eerie. You know, I think it's pretty cool. Um, you know, you know, pretty good violence in this one as well, you know, with, uh, you know, the violence with the, uh, students and everything like that, which I know sounds wrong, but, um, then I had Ash, you know, basically, well, basically Evil Ash ended up getting himself killed, uh, wait, wait, no, no, excuse me, I said that wrong, the wrong way, but with, uh, Ruby, she really tried to get, push Brandy to kill her father, um, because, you know, she's still seen her as Miss Private, so Ruby basically set up a scenario where, uh, you know, Evil Ash is doing all this stuff, and you had the good Ash step in, and she basically, you know, impaled herself on Ash, or, you know, our good Ash's chainsaw. Um, and then her intestines came out and everything like that. And, you know, I was frustrated because, okay, now Brandy's mad at Ash again, and she's not going to believe him, even though we all clearly know that, you know, Ash is the hero here. Um, or as good of a hero as he can be. <laughs> um... But luckily, that's uh, you know that's cleared up. That's changed. And then Ruby's kind of forced to you know show her cards, and you know, she just sits up, freaks everyone out, and you know finally Brandy sees what the truth is. But she gets the dagger in the back, um, setting up the last uh, few episodes here, the last three episodes. Um, so I thought it was really really good. Um, like I said, it's gonna be really cool if I'm going to that realm pretty shortly here, and so makes her first one with the very best of the show. And I think it's gonna solidify season three as the best of the series so far. Um, hopefully we get a season four, but like I said, I'm on the edge of my seat. You know, I was really wanting just to watch the last three episodes right away. Um, we'll see what they do. I think it's going to be exciting as hell. I'm um, giving this episode about a 9.3 out of 10. I've been loving Ash vs. Evil Dead. It's, uh, it's fucking awesome, man. So, like, yeah, let me guys thought about this one, where your theories for Kelly. Um, you know, more on the realm they're going into. Uh just uh, Ruby and things like that, let me know. So yeah, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, like, subscribe, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.